Good morning, everybody. Great day in Sim Road. B Ron and Rick Blaze here. Rick, good to have you with me this morning. Hey, man. Good to good to be here. Uh, I'm glad to be here. Hey, shout out to all the families and the people dealing with this hurricane situation. We're gonna we have to do Sim World. We got some of the team on the ground in the area, but Sim World today is happening on today. B Ron, let's get to it. Yeah, let's get to it. We had a lot of upsets last night. Three of them came in the top 25. Including my Duke stomach. <laughs> yeah, hey, look, Duke went down. Virginia went down. And Marquette, those are the three top 25 that went down. And Georgia also went down as well. Biggest one, though, being Duke, Rick. Yeah, hey, look. If you're St. Mary's, you're throwing a parade today. Uh, no one goes to class. All hell St. Mary's. All hell all saints uh, everywhere today. Uh, my my old saint, uh, my old nun friend, sister Saint Francis. She should be having a good time. Everybody's having a party. They took down Duke. That is not a small feat. Those guys are legends. Also, shout out to SMU getting it done as well. Uh, taking out Virginia. They are taking out LSU. Cam Jones is killer. Cam season. He's in full effect. No, these guys look really good. Shout out to all the small dogs beating the big dogs. Small dogs got bite too. Root. They sure do. And this one in particular has a sting because Georgia Tech, Ramblin' Wreck, beat Michigan State last night as well. 81-69. A team who ha who's used to having a lot, a lot of success, throwing a hard time in Georgia Tech, looking to turn their fortunes around. And they're off to a good start the season so far. Yeah, I mean, sometimes we all fall on hard times. And <laughs> right now, Michigan State has fell on nails uh, to start the season. Georgia Tech, Michigan State just couldn't shoot the ball, particularly the three ball. Um, and that was their Achilles heel. Georgia Tech dared them to do it. Double dog dared them, and they couldn't answer the bell. They couldn't answer the challenge. Good job by Georgia Tech getting that dub. 2-3 zone gave them fits. And we went to go to some other some fresh faces in Sim World U with... Ethan Letterman Jr. and Mark Chisholm doing their parts for Creighton, but it was Quan Singleton and Marshawn Averett who really, really did the part offensively. 34 points combined for them as they beat Stanford 68 to 68 to 60 last night. Yeah, good job by Creighton. A lot of energy for that team. Uh, Ethan Letterman, as you aforementioned, two three pointers to lead his team, uh, made. Uh, and Chisholm led his team with 12 rebounds uh, and a Beautiful block from behind. Pause uh, on a breakaway layup. So, but those are the, the little things that teams need that Creighton's going to need. That can a lot of times be the difference between winning and losing the ball games. Those little intricate plays. So, shout out Ethan Letterman for shooting that shot, for shooting his shots, getting them up. I'm a shot shooter myself. And then shout out for Mark Chisholm for getting done on a defensive end. Everybody knows that's what Mark does. He's been doing it since prep ball. Um, and so it's good to see that defense can translate at the collegiate level. Defense can absolutely translate. And there was history made last night. Oh, in yes. In World U, UCLA 110 to 49 over Iowa State. But LeGerald Carroll to the school record for most points in a game. And most three pointers in a game as well. 11 three pointers made in a game and 42 points in a game. Yeah. Hey, it's usually the Jalen Snowmobile uh, in UCLA. Uh, but check it out. The Gerald Carroll went, hmm, bananas. He went absolutely bonkers. He went bananas in pajamas. He just lost. His mind. You hear me? He lost his mind. I feel like he could have beat this team by himself if he really wanted to. I don't think all of UCLA needed to show up last night. Uh, obviously, Jared Carroll was, was like, yo, I got this by myself. Um, just look at the stats. Um, he was yeah. that awesome last night. This UCLA team is, is – is, I want to see some more games of them, but they, they look really, really, really dangerous at the start of the season. The Pac-12 looks really good. No one's talking about that, but the Pac-12 looks really, really good, and UCLA looks like the cream of the crop. At least one of them in that Pac-12 is going to be a great, great, great conference this year. Pac-12 does look really, really good, and uh, just want to remind everybody that we do have a broadcast of the game tonight. Miami and Florida taking on the each champs. other tonight. That's, that's going to be a really, really fun one. Maybe we'll get another upset tonight, Rick. One more for the road. Why not, right? Well, well, you, well you know, 
there, there's a lot of stuff going on in that area right now. So I, I think we're probably yeah. going to get information for where the game is going to be moved and how they're going to work out. That's, that's, true, yeah. that's above my pay grade. Be, be run. That's above my pay grade, brother. I don't worry about right. that. But the game exactly. is going on. It is going to be a great game regardless if they playing here. But anywhere on the blacktop is going down. The champs are still the champs, baby. Yeah, and we'll see how they do. That's our show this morning. Thank you for joining us on SimWorld today. Uh, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, hit the, hit the bell, and all of our shows, games, streams, videos, all that good stuff go live for you all. Remember, SimWorld is the only place where you can see the game, be the game. We'll see you tomorrow. A man who sleeps on the floor cannot fall out of bed. <laughs>